Hey guys, it's Molly. Welcome to my channel. I'm an artist here in South Florida. I wanted to do a commission piece tonight for a wonderful lady and she wanted a turquoise blue base. And some of you had said that from one of my previous videos to continue with the rainbow series. So I thought, sure, I would love to try that. I've never done a base in that color before. Let's see how it turns out. Hey you guys, I am working on a 12 by 12 inch canvas and this is a commission piece and she asked for a turquoise base, which I have never done. So this should be interesting. I do have a lot of air bubbles because I just mixed this. So I am going to have to pop those. So let me blow this out. Okay, so now I'm just coming along for any additional air bubbles that are there. Now, the colors that I'm using, I don't normally use either. I made, I took Rose Mater and mixed it with, whoops, just kidding. <laughs> that is an easy fix there, guys. You know me, I'm clumsy. Um, I took the Rose Mater and mixed it with a Pyrrole Red. So this color, and I got this because she wanted like a raspberry color. And then she wanted black and purple so and then silver is going to be my metallic so i really want to think about what colors i want next to each other i think i want so i also was thinking about the transparency because the purple is the blue violet is completely transparent or it's transparent you can tell by no black in the whoops just kidding no black in the box right there the pyro red is semi-transparent, um, which will be this rose mater, and then the black is fully opaque. So I'm trying to think. I don't. I don't want the black. I want the black on the bottom somewhere. So maybe I'll start with the black as the puddle, because I don't want it to be on the top and take over. Um, but I also want something that is also opaque next to this opaque color so that you can see it. So the other colors will float on top of that. I think next I'll go with this. And then the purple. So I'm going kind of light, dark, light, dark. Then the red, which is a really bright red, almost like an orange. It's gorgeous though. Maybe one more little of black, one more there, purple on top, and then my silver. I keep rubbing this canvas, y'all. Please don't tell me this canvas is cursed. <laughs> and I've really been like, so I'm gonna go straight in, and then I think I'm gonna spiral out. I've really been liking that effect. get it all the way through. Okay. Oh, okay. I hope it's enough color. I guess we'll find out, right? I am going to puddle around, pop my air bubbles again. All right. I'm going to blow this over and then spread it out. Oh, that was gorgeous. <gasps> That's so pretty. I'm just going to give it to her like that. <laughs> oh, that silver. Okay. Oh, I hope I don't ruin this blowing it out. All right. Okay, so the only part that I don't like is this part. This is 
absolutely stunning in the middle here. But I wanted this to come out a little bit further. And this part right here, I might fiddle with. So I'm gonna fiddle with the composition for a second and then I'll show you guys what I end up with. Okay, so I fiddled a lot, and sometimes you need to fiddle a lot to get the composition that you want. So um, some may say that I fiddled too much, but I really, I know it's kind of, I don't know, wrong to, to say it this way, but I fiddled a lot to make it look like I didn't fiddle at all. Like I wanted it to look blown out like that. All right, here it is dry. And I'm really happy with the pieces that I added to this. That turquoise blue is gorgeous. Look at that. It looks like fire just coming out of the center. And with that dark background and adding in the silver. Let me see if I can get you. Um, yep, there's that silver. Really, really happy. And the client was happy too, so I'm, I'm always happy about that. But yeah, the cells and the lacing, really like the color combination. You guys, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.